What everyone loves about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology is not only that they are decentralized, but also that they are transparent. What does that mean? Well, let's say that you send one Bitcoin to your friend. To create that transaction, you would use one input and then one output on the receiving end. When that friend sends this Bitcoin to a third person, another transaction is required. So, similarly, one input is used as well as one output. Together, two transactions of that one Bitcoin have created two inputs and two outputs. Now, the blockchain technology is the one that is responsible for the transparency that Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are proud of. This transparency entails that all of those transactions that are made on the network are recorded in a public ledger. And what does that ledger contain? Well, with every transaction that is made on the Bitcoin network, which includes the sender's address, how much money was exchanged, as well as the receiver's address, is all information made public and can be seen on that ledger. And this is an important part of the technology. And this information is made public so that anyone is able to verify that the amount which was sent is equal to the amount that was received. This is actually at the core of the Bitcoin network and the blockchain technology. In fact, a transaction cannot be validated if it weren't for the availability of this information. But what is wrong with this picture? Well, there are two main things. The first one has to do with scalability and the other one has to do with anonymity. And those are two major issues of the Bitcoin network. In this video, we will be explaining how blockchain protocol called Mimblewimble has created a solution for those two issues. We will go over what the Mimblewimble protocol is, what it does, and how it works, and we will explain its main features. And last but not least, we will go over the cryptocurrencies that are using this protocol. So listen up, and without further ado, let's get right into it. The issues in the Bitcoin network. First, let us go back to those two issues of the Bitcoin network and start by discussing the first one, which is Bitcoin scalability. The scalability of a blockchain network is the network's ability to support an increasing load of transactions and at the same time, an increasing number of nodes. Scalability has always been a big issue for the Bitcoin network because the network has a limited capacity and can't easily handle large amounts of transactions in a short period. And this is because the blocks in the Bitcoin blockchain are actually limited in both size and frequency. The second issue is about anonymity. With the public ledger recording every bit of data, anyone can actually look up the history of someone who has purchased some coins on the Bitcoin network, and they would be able to know who the previous owners of those coins were and follow the history of the coins from the senders to the receivers. And these two issues were the reason why Mimblewimble was created. Mimblewimble Blockchain Protocol the blockchain protocol was first introduced in 2016 by what appears to be a big fan of Harry Potter. And we know that the creator loves the Harry Potter franchise because they have taken the pseudonym of the French name of Lord Voldemort, which is Tom Elvis Jaducer. Also, the protocol's name itself, Mimblewimble, is in fact a Harry Potter defense spell. And this choice comes with a good reason because this spell prevents the person who falls under its effect from saying any other spell as the words Mimblewimble would entangle the tongue. The Mimblewimble protocol is obviously privacy-focused, and it intends to revolutionize security and privacy in the cryptocurrency world. The protocol was launched in 2018, and it provides complete anonymity when transactions are carried out. So how does the Mimblewimble protocol work, and how does it offer solutions to the Bitcoin network's two mentioned issues? The Solution Let us start with the scalability issue discussed earlier and see how this blockchain protocol attempts to solve it. Mimblewimble uses cut-through technology to aggregate all of the inputs and outputs of a transaction. Remember how each transaction of one Bitcoin creates one input and one output? Mimblewimble unifies them and creates one input and output instead of two separate ones. This not only saves space on the blockchain, but also means that nodes do not have to look at the previous transactions in order to verify new ones. On the other hand, Mimblewimble works on solving the anonymity and confidentiality issues. When a blockchain operates within the Mimblewimble protocol, it wouldn't contain the addresses or the transactions of every user. It rather groups them and records that group in one single large transaction. This means that the data would only be visible to its users, and any third party that hadn't taken any part in that transaction could only see a random set of data. So, technically, what the Mimblewimble protocol does is that it hides the transaction fields that contain the public address of the sender and the receiver, as well as the amount made of that transaction. In contrast, on the Bitcoin network, each of that information is registered within the blockchain individually. But when the information is grouped as a single set of data, the network saves a significant amount of storage space. 
This all sounds great, but then how are transactions validated in such a case? The validation process that the Mimblewimble protocol uses is known as the Peterson scheme. This scheme aims at verifying the operations on a blockchain without giving miners access to neither the transaction amounts nor the user's data. The validation process under this scheme works when the number of entries is equal to the number of exits. So, operations are verified using the Peterson scheme when the difference between entry and exit is equal to zero. So, technically, this validation scheme will only need to verify two main things. First is that there have been no new currencies created from scratch, and second is that the involved parties in the transaction are the owners of their keys. Features of Mimblewimble If you haven't already guessed it, the most important features of the Mimblewimble protocol would relate to both of the issues that are mentioned earlier. The first feature of the Mimblewimble protocol is cut-through, which we already talked a little about. But how does it really work? Well, as its name might indicate, the cut-through is a function that solves the scalability problem. It allows compressing the blocks, which have large amounts of information. Most of that information can be actually removed without compromising the blockchain's security. The Mimblewimble protocol also makes use of CoinJoin, the cryptographic function that operates as a mechanism that is able to combine payments from different users. This allows generating a single transaction, which would ultimately make it difficult to know which payment was meant for which receiver. That way, CoinJoin allows the transaction data to be visible only to the sender and the receiver involved in that particular transaction. Mimblewimble boasts its anonymity feature, which is without a doubt its most important part. And this feature is possible because of the Dandelion protocol that Mimblewimble uses. The Dandelion protocol aims at reducing the probability and the risk of detecting the origin of a certain transaction on a blockchain. In order to successfully achieve this, the Dandelion protocol has two phases for its privacy process. One, the stem or root phase is a transaction's starting point in which the transaction is sent to a series of nodes that are randomly chosen. This way, when a transaction reaches a node, that node wouldn't be able to recognize if the previous node is the point of origin or if it is a repeater of that transaction, which makes it impossible to trace the transaction's origin. 2. The fluff phase is when the Dandelion protocol uses the Gossip protocol, which transmits information and sends a particular transaction to all pairs. This protocol distributes the information among the nodes of the network that is using the Mimblewimble protocol. Another process used by Mimblewimble is transaction compensation, which is a sort of trick with which Mimblewimble is able to merge several transactions and mix their inputs and their outputs in an irreversible manner. So if a node is identified as the origin of a transaction in the stem phase, it wouldn't be possible to know which inputs and which outputs it contained initially. This process also ensures that the identity of a transaction's initiator remains unknown. Cryptocurrencies that use the Mimblewimble protocol Beam and Grin are two cryptocurrencies that implement the Mimblewimble protocol. Beam was launched in 2018, and Grin followed a year later in 2019. Although both of the projects have different approaches, Beam and Grin are collaborating, which is making the technology behind the Mimblewimble protocol constantly grow stronger. And although both coins are built on the same blockchain, the transaction data of Grin is only visible to the sender and the receiver, while Beam users are able to choose between making their transactions private or not. If one compares those two cryptocurrencies to others, such as Zcash, Monero, and Dash, we can notice that Beam and Grin both offer cheaper, faster, and more private transactions. Zcash transactions are expensive and slow, and although Monero attempts to add false data to offer privacy for the information, the transactions remain largely traceable. Dash, on the other hand, offers scalability as it is a centralized cryptocurrency, yet it doesn't allow complete anonymity for its operations. In fact, we believe that cryptocurrencies such as Zcash, Monero, and Dash can be immensely improved if they managed to implement the Mimblewimble protocol or any other similar one. So, now that you know everything about the Mimblewimble blockchain protocol, tell us what you think of it and of the solutions it offers in terms of both scalability and anonymity. And would you be willing to start investing in the cryptocurrencies Beam or Grin after learning about the protocol they use in more depth? Would you be an advocate for implementing this protocol in other cryptocurrencies? And do you think the Bitcoin network should implement the Mimblewimble as a soft fork? Would this contribute to the scalability of the Bitcoin network? Share with us all of your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to never miss content such as this one. We will see you in the next video.